leveling the bed on your 3D printer. This tutorial shows you how to level the bed on printers that feature a graphical display with a single control knob, like the one shown here, and a BL Touch auto leveling sensor. When the printer is turned on, the BL Touch will flash and actuate its pin. Your printer's model name will be displayed here on the main operating screen. As you use the graphical display, please note that it may malfunction if you turn the knob too quickly. If the screen takes a moment to respond or appears to be frozen, don't select anything and wait as the last commands are completed. Then the display should respond as expected. For this tutorial, a sheet of standard copy paper is being used to set Z offset, but a business card or 0.2 millimeter feeler gauge is more precise and slightly thicker, giving you a buffer to lower the nozzle as you begin a print. More on that in another tutorial. Before performing any of these procedures, always make sure that hands, tools, prints, or other obstructions are clear of the print bed. Please note that the printer featured in this tutorial was being tested and a component is visible that isn't installed on customer's printers with a BL Touch. To set Z offset, while on the main screen, press the knob, select Motion, then select Auto Home. The printer will come to life and automatically begin an Auto Home procedure. As the Auto Home begins, the probe normally remains off, but it's okay if it's blinking, and it will reset automatically. Note that some printers perform the Auto Home at the center of the bed. After the Auto Home, the display will reset to the info screen. If you're using a business card or feeler gauge, placing it under the nozzle as it lowers will protect the bed if the Z offset value has been accidentally set too low. With the paper under the nozzle, press the knob, select Motion, select Move Axis, then select Move Z. In this tutorial, Move 10 millimeters is selected, but selecting 1 millimeter is the safer option for new users. Now check the paper or gauge to see if it moves under the nozzle but with a slight drag. If it moves too freely or it's difficult to move, back out of the menus by selecting the topmost item until you return to the main menu. Now select Configuration, then select Probe Z Offset. Turn the knob as indicated until the nozzle contacts the paper and slide it back and forth under the nozzle. The paper should be able to move, but with a slight amount of drag. Please note that the mode to adjust Z offset is only available for two minutes. Then the printer returns to idle. You'll have to restart the process by selecting Auto Home and repeat the steps again. When you're satisfied with the adjustment, press the knob to exit the screen, then select Store Settings. This saves the Z offset to memory, so it will be retained the next time the printer is turned off, then back on. Now it's time for manual bed leveling. Remove the paper or gauge from the bed, then on the control box, select Motion, then scroll down and select Level Corners. The printer first moves the hot end to the front left corner, lowers it to the Z offset, and waits giving you time to make adjustments. Place the paper or feeler gauge between the nozzle and the bed, then carefully adjust the knobs under the bed, which raises and lowers the surface. Some bed knobs are marked to indicate which direction raises and lowers the bed, but they can be difficult to see. Turn clockwise to raise the bed and counterclockwise to lower it. As you adjust the bed height, like setting Z offset, the paper should be able to move, but with a slight amount of drag. After adjusting a corner, select Next on the display screen, and the printer will move the hot end to the next corner in a counterclockwise direction around the bed. After adjusting the back left corner, the printer will move to the center, and you can check the clearance, but adjustments at the corners are the most significant and the mesh bed leveling procedure performed next will compensate for it. 
Press Next again, and the hot end will return to the front left corner, and you can repeat this process a second or third time until the results are the same. You may now pause this tutorial if you need time to adjust the corners and start it again after you're finished. Once you're satisfied with the manual bed leveling adjustments, select Done on the display screen. Now that the Z offset is adjusted and the bed is manually leveled, it's time to begin the automated mesh bed level procedure. Creality 3D printers purchased from Tiny Machines 3D feature a 25-point system that's more accurate than printers from other sources. Remember, this is an automated process that takes 5 to 20 minutes depending on the printer and the size of the print bed. On the main menu, select Leveling Tools, then select Setup. At first, the display will show bed heating and the printer will wait until the bed reaches the correct temperature for the procedure. Once the bed reaches temperature, the printer will perform an auto home. Then begin the probing sequence. The display will show which probing point is currently being measured over the total amount of points that will be probed. All you have to do now is watch and wait. Once completed, the display will show bed leveling done. The printer performs another auto home, then begins to heat the nozzle. Once it's reached temperature, the printer will lower the hot end and prompt you to set Z offset. Place the paper or gauge between the nozzle and bed and check again that it moves, but with a slight amount of drag. If you need to make additional adjustments, select Configuration, then select Probe Z Offset. Adjust the Z Offset as you did before. Now one last important step. After you've made these final adjustments, press the knob to exit the screen, then select Store Settings. That's it! This procedure is complete and you're ready to begin the next steps to prepare for printing. Inspected and tested 3D printers. Upgrade installations by experienced technicians. Excellent service and support. Tiny Machines 3D.